Hey guys, today we are going to see how we can make thumbnails for YouTube using a paid software called Photoshop. So, let's get started. So guys, the first thing we have to, which we have to do is go to Photoshop and make a new file that is in the width of 1280 and height of 720 and make sure that the background is transparent and we can keep all the things as same and click OK. After doing that, we see that a blank page is formed. Uh, after that, first we have to search for a background. Let's download one from Google Images, Grunge, Background, sorry guys, one minute, Grunge, Back, Ground. Uh, so there are many backgrounds which you can use but for this for the sake of this video I am seeing grunge background see there are many backgrounds but we have to take a uh, image which is at least 1280 by 720 because it doesn't get stretched after we open it in the photoshop because it is in the dimension it has dimensions of 1280 by 720 so let us download this one this one is in the uh, this one has is 1600 into 1067 so let's save this image as save image as and we'll save it in the desktop you users Dell desktop save and now again go into Photoshop you should be file place and desktop uh, we saved this one and we'll place it now let it open guys now as you can see it is more it is uh, not correctly 1280 by 720 so hence we have to extend it let's extend it guys this is the benefit if we have a larger image because even if we stretch it doesn't lose its quality now click this check mark now we have got a correct background for our youtube thumbnail uh, so the next thing which we'll do is find a emoji emoji png and there are tons of emojis which we use oftenly in WhatsApp and other social media sites. Uh, for example, I like this one. I will download this one. Save image as right. I can go to Photoshop, file, place, nerd with glasses emoji.png place. Now, this is very big, guys, for this video or for this thumbnail, but we can uh, make it short by. So clicking this uh, by bringing a cursor near this uh, corner of the image and do it and we can reduce its uh, shape but as you can see if I move even a bit wrong it is become uh, it is not looking nice so the thing which you have to do is click shift and reduce and increase by doing this we see that it doesn't lose its aspect ratio and remains in uh, same um, shape so let's uh, decrease its size guys okay and tick mark now let us bring this here and now we'll find a now we'll find an image for our uh, thumbnail that is youtube png and we will use this one this one is transparent save images we'll save it in the desktop save back to photoshop desktop and youtube place again it's very big guys so let's reduce its size and this looks good okay tick mark so after this uh, for some reason you want to tilt it so the thing which you have to do is select the layer uh, and go to edit free transform now uh, we have to uh, now we when the uh, image is selected just you have to click this and rotate as we want See, as we can, uh, we can rotate it 360 degrees. Uh, we can uh, tilt it like this, like this, or however we want. Uh, I will keep it like this. Okay, I'll bring it here. Okay, now find another image for our uh, thumbnail. That is graph PNG. Uh, this one. No, no, this is too large, guys. Let's see another one. Um, this looks good let's see if it's transparent okay oh yes it's transparent guys desktop save photoshop file place now we'll bring that graph which we have downloaded guys and it is somewhere over here yep this one place now 
we will bring it here increase its size okay tick mark you choose let me bring this here okay and now enough of adding images now if you want to add text what to do the simple thing is that just you have to click this t icon over here and after clicking that we can now add text to our thumbnail uh, let us uh, let us uh, change the font guys we will take this one let us add uh, uh, no we will change the color it's not visible red girls how to grow on youtube okay let me bring this this side it's not yeah and now we have even added text now what if if you want to add a inner shadow and an outer shadow select the layer which you want to add and right click it blending options here there are tons of options like um, bezel and embrace contour texture stroke inner shadow inner glow satin color overlay gradient overlay etc etc we will be adding inner shadow and as you can see when we tick mark this inner shadow there is a white um, shadow inside the letters now we can increase or decrease its opacity if we keep it zero it is the same it doesn't change but when we increase the opacity as you can see it has become completely white white over here we can even add noise to it means uh, if it, if we want it to be clear or not uh, we can change even the color of the noise for example yellow black we can add whatever we want and uh, now we have added an inner glow so now let's add an outer glow uh, this is the same guys nothing to do so we'll go to another thing that is drop shadow this is one of the most interesting thing about blending options we can increase its distance as you can see we are getting a shadow for this uh, the uh, how much uh, less we keep the shadow is that much near to the text we can increase or decrease spread is nothing but what the thickness of the shadow and size is uh, how long or short it should look and noise is uh, nothing but guys okay now we have added uh, now we have added inner shadow outer glow etc and now for saving this we have to go to file save as and make sure guys you don't uh, save it in the psd or pdd format because it might be not acceptable by youtube so we will opt for jpg mm, jpg and save it as thumb thumbnail and it's saved we can adjust the quality i recommend you guys always maximum and setting it to two and the large file okay now if we see the Im uh, image in a desktop it is saved here guys as you can see it is very nice so that's it guys for this video i hope you like this video be sure to like share comment and subscribe and i'm lakshya from aidnock and i'm signing out